Hello everyone and welcome to an unboxing video. This is... The stamp says, this belongs to a book lover. This is a box that I ordered from the author, an author's website. The author being Willow Winters. She writes spicy romance. So let me go to her website and I'll give you a little bit more information. I have saved up for this box. So this is a the, the priciest one, um, but I've saved up saved up for it because I was gift I gifted myself this box for my 40th birthday. Today is uh, November 20th. When I placed the order, it said pre-order on the website, uh, so I didn't think it would get here as fast. But an early birthday gift to myself. So, okay, Willow winters the website and I will link the website in the description box if you want to check it out it's willowwintersrights.com so you can do a subscription box which is so this is available in three sizes limited limited availability and it's seasonal from what it looks like so it's a seasonal subscription box but the one I did is the book lovers mystery box you can buy this whenever it is not a subscription so it's a one-time purchase type of a thing so there's a couple of sizes and you can specify if you're open to receiving books from other authors if you want steamy book covers or discreet I said discreet only on mine because I like the look of the discreet books so the Book Lovers Mystery Box ranges from $49.99 to $249.99 and I saved up because I knew I wanted it so I saved up and bought myself the expensive one. So the, the medium box is $49.99, that's the smallest one. It has two books and three merchandise items. The large box is $99.99, you get two more paperbacks and up to six merchandise items so four books and then the extra large is 150 so 149.99 it has another two so you're looking at six paperback books and up to nine extra items and then the extra extra large box which is the one that I got is 249.99 it'll have an additional paperback so seven books and is packed with must-have bookish merch up to 12 items so and again this was a gift to myself for my 40th birthday, so it's arrived early. Um, again, today is November 20th as of filming this. You'll see this in December. But let's go ahead and get in and see what I got. Okay. I don't want to put the scissors too far in because I don't want to slice the book um, books. So... When you order these boxes, you can list what books you already own by that author so that you don't end up getting a duplicate. Obviously, if you don't list the books you already own, there's the chance that you'll get a duplicate book. Um, the other thing is if there's something you cannot have, um, then you can stay, state. So for me, I put what books I have, and then I put that I don't want due to health reasons. I don't want anything for alcohol. Like I don't need a wine glass. I don't need something like that due to allergies. I don't want anything that for tea, and I don't want anything for coffee because I don't like the smell of coffee. So things pertaining to that, they would skip over those particular items and move on to something else. I would lift and show you in the box, but it's a heavy box. <laughs> and you can't see anything anyway. It's just a bunch of this crinkle, uh, wormy paper. So we're just going to go with what's on top of the paper. And I've got some, or on top of the crinkle stuff, I've got some paper items. There's this that says a reader's treat to herself. Includes bookish items, must have and must reads, big book lover shop. Um, and so you can get items from Willow Winter's website. So it's a flyer for Willow Winter's website. 
and a promo code to receive 10% off your next order and then list the social media. So, so just a flyer for the website. Okay, and then I have a card here. Oh, <laughs> I put on there, I'm gifting this to myself for my 40th birthday and they sent a card, it says, wishing you a happy birthday and many more. And then the author signed it. So I will keep that card. And then I have a postcard, the Tequila Rose Duet, Small Town, Big Rumors with a QBC code, and it's a coloring one. So I can color. So two guys and a gal there. Um, so I will keep that so I can color it. I'm going to stick it. I'll stick it somewhere. I'll figure that out. <laughs> okay, and then I've got a card for Will Winter's Patreon. She does have a Patreon. It says become a Patreon for exclusive access to, and then it lists what you have access to. Beast and His Beauty chapter drops, Primal Lust chapter drops. So chapter drops for work in progress books. Um, and there's a couple of different things that you can do. I have actually looked at that, but I'm not signing up for that as of right now. Um, just because it is a little bit more pricier for the for her Patreon because you can sign up to receive exclusive book editions type of a thing and that's the one I would want to do but I can't do that for a monthly charge at this point. Willow Winters reading order and trigger content warnings. Scan the QR code for the reading order and full list of trigger and content warning for Willow Winters and W. Winters books. That is the same author, Willow Winters, and then W. Winters, same author, one's just more of like a pen name. So I will hold on to this. That's a good thing to have. And then I have a thing that says over 50 romance published endless. So it's just a QVC scan me postcard for access to her site and things like that. And then another promotional book card that just says thank you. Um, hope you love your box snap a picture, upload, relax and enjoy, and then her social media. And I will list her social media. She does have an Instagram that I know of. So, and then there is a bookmark that has just a book and then it has her website, willowwintersrights.com, but the main part has the book and then it says just one more chapter. So a cute, fun bookmark. And then this other promotional bookmark is talks about or shows the discrete series. They come in different colors. Um, the darker the color in the discrete series, the darker the content. So the more trigger warnings and content warnings. So like here's um, one that's a light purple, which is a small town romance. That's going to be a lighter color compared to like a mafia romance, which is going to be a darker color. So she has like Mafia, Abduction, BDSM, Sexy Club, Forbidden Men, Second Chance, Small Town, Romance, NYC Corruption, Paranormal, Dark and Psychological, and then it just, so the colors, obviously, you know, again, like I said, the more content warning and trigger warnings, the darker the color. So, all right. I see, I see something that I was hoping I would get. Oh, I'm so excited. <sighs> and you can put down like your shirt size because sometimes you can get like a sweatshirt. Oh my gosh, I am excited for this. I saw this, um, she does unboxing videos on like her Instagram and her, or not unboxing, but boxing pack a mystery box for me. She does it on her Instagram and her YouTube, does it in shorts. And I saw this in one of those videos and I'm like, oh, I want that. I hope it's in this box. If it's not, I'm probably gonna have to order a separate. I got it. Oh my gosh. Oh, so soft, so soft. It is so soft and it is like, okay, this is the top. It has a hood.
so it's like a blanket. But it has a hood and it says book. What's it say? Book lover? Yes, book lover. Oh my gosh, it is so soft and it has a hood. <laughs> I can't get it. <laughs> it has a hood and a button with a little thingy. So you can button it in place. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> okay. That's going to make my hair really stick. <laughs> and I don't want to deal with that. I had a dental appointment today, so I'm already kind of overstimulated. So this is like very, very soft. And is for me, it's very kind of like a, smoothie, a, a soothing texture. But I don't want to deal with static hair. <laughs> so, oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I'm excited. Thank you. Okay. Next up is a bag. And it's a tote bag. I will gladly always accept tote bags because I love them. And I like to rotate through them. Okay, so this one's kind of like a gym style bag so you have two pocket or one pocket here and it's pink so you've got the handles here it looks like it should does it have a so there's a zipper at the top and yes so it does come with a strap oh there's two zippers okay so one okay so this is one side and this side has this, what's this? I don't know. Anyway, oh, if that's just part of the lining. Okay. Anyway, just an empty bag, and then it has a zipper on the in pouch on the inside. And then the other zipper that I saw. So this feels like, so it has another pocket here, and this is the type of lining that I would put like maybe a wet swimsuit in or something like that so it doesn't get the other stuff wet. And then there's a pocket here, or not a pocket, but just, just a little thing here. It says, uh, coffee, wildflowers, wine, and books. I'll take the wildflowers and the books, leaving the coffee. <laughs> and the wine alone, but a bag, and it does come with a shoulder strap. So it's like, a, so it's a pink and then this gold accent. Love that. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Oh good, and I was hoping, and she has two options for the discrete, she actually has a couple of options for the discrete series. So I did the standard discrete series where they, it is colorful, and these ones are do have numbers, and the numbers are just in publication order, but for the most part you can read them in any order, unless it's like an actual series within that world. So, um, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get everything out of, the rest out of the box got everything out so this I think is a pizza cutter and a wine bottle opener which I, I'm guessing is what it is so this is what it looks like it's blue so I mean not necessarily a wine bottle opener but bottle opener so it's got this here for the bottle opener and then there's this wheel here and this does spin so I'm guessing it's a pizza cutter so cool beans and then I have a 
I'm guessing it's a tumbler because there's a straw. And the straw is this pretty blue. Yes, so it is a drink tumbler. It is a smaller one, probably only holds about eight ounces. Um, not insulated. It do, the lid does have um, this little push thing so that you can open it to stick your straw in. See, just like that. Or you can also just close it so that nothing comes out. So. And it's just a really pretty blue. And it says, it has a stack of books with flowers. It says W. Winters Book Lover. I, you're not going to be able to see that real well, but yeah. Okay, so I got that. Don't know what this is. A tea towel, I'm guessing. It's I read romance novels. I'm used to the heat. So, so I'm guessing it's like a tea towel. I don't really know the difference between a tea towel and a regular. For me, it's like it's a towel. I should be able to use it. This is 100% polyester according to the tag. And then, then here's the bottom half. So just real cute. And I, I like the feel of polyester much better than cotton, so I do like this. Alright, and then here's a canvas thing. Oh, another... Oh, it's an apron! It's a black kind of canvasy apron. So it's just an apron. And it says, the pocket on the front says, I'd rather be reading. So, I do like that. I like that. And then I have a cutting board type of thing. It says booklover.willowwinterswrites.com. So just a small little wooden cutting board. Okay, so I have a pillowcase cover, black with white words says book, white with black letters says love, love book, book love. So I've got a pillow case, slip for a square pillow, and this looks like the exact same thing, so there's two of them, so you can have matching one, so it's, it's the same, book, love. I like that, I like the simplicity of that and just the black and white, I like that. Okay, and then the last, there's two other things. Ooh, useful, okay. Uh, a tote bag, this one's just a regular tote bag. The other one's like a canvas type gym bag. This one's just a regular tote bag with a pile of books or a shelf of books. You have um, I don't know. Okay, so it has some titles like I recognize Dom and Becca as the characters. So it looks like we have some characters and some tropes. So it says possessive. Adrian and Suzette, I'm guessing, are characters in one of the books. All he'll ever be, I'm guessing, is a title. Dom and Becca is uh, the first couple, like the very first book that I read, I enjoyed that one. There's one called Knocking Boots, which I think is actually a title. She's Willow Winters' is shall not quite a bit. Uh, Wounded Kiss, uh, maybe a trope. Small Town Big Rumors, trope. 
Uh, Forget Me Not could be a trope, could be a title, I don't know. And then same thing with Bot. I love this tote bag. Awesome sauce. Awesome possum. Okay, and the last goodie is a functional for the season. My mom and I share a car, so I will just stick this in the trunk of her car. I mean, it's her car, but we share it. So it is a window scraper. So just says this scraper tool there and it keep it so that your hand is not on the ice and getting the ice on it. And it says, I'd rather be reading. And then it has the author's website, willowwinterswrites.com. So the scraper is just connected and sewn in. Uh, it is sewn or glued in. Somehow it's attached in there. So very useful for the winter season. And where I'm in Utah, I will definitely be using that. So, okay. I imagine that if someone were in Florida where, or certain, certain areas in California, that would not be a very useful item unless they travel to where it's going to be uh, warm. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do I have eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I thought it would only be seven books, but I have eight. Um, all discreet. So these books just has the title of the or the name of the main characters on the front. Nothing on the back other than it says the discreet series. So the actual title of the book is on the inside along with the synopsis. So and these ones are actually numbered. So the numbers do not mean they have to be read in that order. Um, obviously, if it is part of a series like book two, like for example, um, I have Dom and, or, oh, my sugar is going too low. Let me check it. Where is my phone? It's right here. Um, for example, I have... Let me pull it up. The characters are Dirty Dawn is the name of the book. Dirty. It is a mafia romance. And it is part, it is part, you, you can read it as a standalone because then it's part of the Valetti crime family series. Um, book two is his hostage. Three is rough touch, but they follow different characters. So... Um, but for example, that one probably read in order, but as far as like, you know, outside of that, you can pretty much read them in any order. So, oh, I was going to check my sugar. What's going on? I'm getting a urgent low. Let me do that one thinking about it. Check. Where's the sensor? There it is. Ooh, 54. I need to go eat. Okay. Let me see if I can just get through this. See if my sugar will go back up by itself. Okay. So these are all the discreet and these ones do have the numbers as far as publication order. So I'm going to go through the order. So I have, so 51 is a dark purple. I'll go with that one last. Uh, 29 is a pine green. Uh, tw that's 29 and then I have 27 which is a lighter lighter green 26 so the content warning gets lighter there and then I have 18 as a light color 15 is a little bit darker 13 is even darker and then 7 is even darker than that okay so let's and some of these are by Willow Winters and it's like a dual author type of a thing. So this first one um, is number seven in publication order and it is Willow Winters and B.B. Hamill. The characters are Geo and Grace. And I had to make sure I wasn't talking and not filming. Okay, so this is called Forsaken. Is that one of the titles on this tote bag? Possessive, Adrian all the Nucky Boots Wounded. Oh, forget me not and bought. Okay, no. All right. Uh, so the name of this one, so again, the main characters are Geo and Grace, and the name of the title is actually Forsaken. So it's on the inside, and the synopsis is on the page right next to it. And this one says, A dark, darker, emotionally gripping, standalone romantic suspense. Okay, 
Synopsis. I should have known that one day I'd be at the mercy of a monster, and all I am is the daughter of his enemy. I was stolen and gifted to him, a dominating, brutal, and a cold-hearted killer. My pleas fall on deaf ears as I stay trapped and held hostage to his will. He could do anything he wanted with me, and I know what he is what he's looking for. He can't hide the desire in his gaze. The flicker of heat between us is something I can't deny either. And as the days grow colder, I'm finding it harder to resist. With each gentle touch and an act of kindness that lures me closer to him, I'm finding it impossible to remember why I should fight this. Oh, and one thing I should say is to get these books, you do not have to get the box. You can buy these books separately. Okay. Next up, I have the characters of Logan and Charlotte by Willow Winters and Lauren Landish. So another dual author, duo author. The, and these books are, have like a stamp signature inside. Um, let's see. This is a seduction office romance. Mr. CEO is the name of this one. I'm used to dominating the boardroom and getting what I want, but I've never wanted anyone like her. Even though I have the world at my beck and call, it no longer excites me. Nothing does until she comes along, my rose. Her deep blue eyes, her tempting curves, they call to me, consuming my thoughts like nothing has in years. I should walk away, but the soft sigh, but the soft sighs spilling from her plump lips are addictive. I've never felt such desire. I've never wanted like this. I shouldn't fall this deep, and I know it. There's a reason I keep everyone away, and I need to remember that. But now that I have her in my grasp, I can't let her go. Oh, I need to log these. Okay, so Mr. CEO, I'm going to insert the cover, um, is actually book number three in the Bad Boy Next Year, Next Door series. So, I want to get book, okay, book one in the Bad Boys Next Door is inked. So, let me go to her website. I have got to read things in order. I know she says you can read them out of order, and it's like I can read, you know, this one after I read you know, the, the Geo and Grace, uh, Forsaken after I read, uh, Mr. CEO. But as far as where it's part of a series, even though they follow different, they're like companion novels is the word I'm looking for. So they follow different characters is what it sounds like for me. I still have to read it in order. I, I cannot deviate from that. I just cannot deviate from that. So I'm going to go to her books And so I, oh, inked is what I want. Let's, let me go back to books. Okay, I'm not finding that discreet. Let me look for, I'm going to go to Amazon because I do know that you can buy her books on Amazon as well. Inked by Willow Winters. There it is. Okay. $14.99 on Amazon. Um, looks like uh, I would rather buy it through her website, but I'm not seeing the discreet version on her website right now. So when I look at the bad boys next door, it's just the standard. It has the couple or part of the couple on the cover, and I don't have the option it says I can buy like the ebook for $16.99. You can get points for the Willow Winters website as well. Um, I'm going to try to add it to the cart and see if it'll let me, when I go to my cart. Uh, 
Okay, cart. I can't switch it to the discreet. So it looks like the discreet option is not available at this time on her website. So, but you can definitely keep an eye out for that. So I will be ordering that from Amazon then. Okay, so again, that was Mr. CEO, right? Yeah, so obviously you will hopefully have seen the image of the original cover. Moving on, I have the couples are Derek and Emma by Willow Winters. So Willow Winters is the only author for this one. And let me see if this is, go to Goodreads and log. Okay, so the name of the title for Derek and Emma is Burned Promises. Okay, and this is book number three, it looks like. It just says Second Chance Series, book three. But when I click on it, it looks like it's a standalone. So let me go to her website. So I'll insert an image of Burned Promises. Uh, there's a couple of different covers, but I'm just, I'll go with one of the covers. Um, I think she also has like object covers that you can try to get, but you just have to keep an eye on the website. So, you know, Amazon even has it as book three. So, book one is Second Chance. Okay, so I can get the discrete version, $14.99. All right. Add to cart. Okay, so Derek and Emma. So this is uh, Burned Promises. So image of the cover there, of the regular cover, not the discrete version. This one says so. This, it says this can be read as a standalone. So it just follows different characters, but same world type of thing. So companion novel. He made a promise and he broke it. That's what happens with your first love. I didn't expect Derek to fall back into my life and for me to fall back into his bed. Time changes a lot of things, but it doesn't change everything. It doesn't change the way he makes my heart skip or the way my lungs stop when he stares deep into my eyes. I didn't change his bad boy ways either, and I should be smart enough to tell him this no this time around. I should be. I know what it's like to be burned by him. But it's so hard to walk away when he when his touch begs me to stay, and the pain in his eyes cuts me deeper than anything else in this world. So burned promises. Okay, I do have from Amazon um, with buying stuff for Christmas for family. I have some points, so I'll be using my credits to get these books. That's where it's like this is part of a series again. I, even though you can read it as a standalone, I have to read it in order. So I will be buying those from Amazon and using my points since I can't find the discrete series on her website. Okay, moving on. We have the characters Charlie and Grace. Only author is Willow Winters on this. So let me go. Title is, and again, these are very steamy books. And the author has said that, Knocking Boots. Okay, and this one is complete standalone. There's no companion novels, at least as of yet. Willow Winters may change your mind later, who knows? Um, so, Knocking Boots. Again, the characters are Charlie and Grace. I'll have the image of the book there. And then you can see how different the covers are. So, but I just love the look of the discreet. And I like the feel, because it's that kind of almost velvety feel. All right, small town romance, and it says this is a, a drunken bet that leads to a fake relationship. My naive little heart w uh, still hoped it would last. We were never meant to be together. He's a bartender with non-committal tendencies. I'm looking for the opposite, commitment, period. But drinks and a bet lead to something it shouldn't have, a fake relationship. Worse, a first date, a first kiss, and then more. He's addictive and I can't bring myself to accept the reality that it's all a lie and I'm fooling myself by thinking he could want more, that I could change him. He's mine for as long as I keep on pretending like this just for fun. And if I don't want more, 
dot dot dot. It, it has the dots. Okay. Like when he whispers my name, I pretend it doesn't make my heart flip. Like when he holds me at night, I pretend I don't want to lay in his bed every night. It's just a bet. Just a lie. Until it isn't. So fake dating, small town. I like small town. And I also, I find I like a plethora. I like the very light and sweet romance, like even clean Christian romances I like. Um, I love small town settings, but I also like very dark, like Mafia. Willow Winters was my first, uh, Dom and Becca, my first Mafia, and I had a great time with that. Okay, so this next one, the characters are Adrian and Suzette. Title is Tell Me You Want Me. The book is the backside of a man, the or the original cover. But there's a blue band from what I'm seeing on Goodreads across it. But it's kind of opaque. I don't see like the butt crack, but you do see the outline of the butt. So um yeah. Okay, Adrian and Suzette. So again, I'll have the cover there with the bum on the cover. This one, the uh, title is again, Tell Me You Want Me, and I think this is an office. Yeah, uh, let's see. Office romance with a brooding hero you can't help but fall head over heels for in and out of the bedroom. I didn't get to where I am by being nice. I'm the boss, the CEO, the owner of whatever I want. Right now, that includes every person in this building of the company I just bought. I stop at nothing once I've decided I've, I'm taking something. And then she showed up, full of spitfire just for me. The man she's decided is her worst enemy. Like I said, I stop at nothing once I've decided I'm taking something. This pretty little thing just moved to the top of my must-acquire list. Okay, now this next one is part of a series, um, and it's actually on the tote bag. Uh, so on this tote bag it has Forget Me Not. That's the name of the title of this book I'm going to be showing you, as well as the name of the series. And this is book one in the series. So I'm going to mark that I have the discrete version. Oh. Okay. Well, I'll just mark the regular version. Okay, so the name of the characters are John and Robin. And the name of the book, as I said, is Forget Me Not, so cover. This one says, this is an emotionally gripping romantic suspense. I fell in love with a boy a long time ago. I was only a small girl. Scared uh, scared and frightened, I was taken from my home and held against my will. His father hurt me, but he protected me and kept me safe as best he could, until I left him. I ran the first chance I got, and even though I knew it wasn't behind me, he wasn't behind me, I didn't stop. The branches lashed out at me, pushing me for leaving him in the hands of a monster. I've never felt such guilt in my life. Although I survived, the boy was never found. I prayed for him to be safe. I dreamed he'd be all right and come back to me. Even as a young girl, I knew I loved him, but I betrayed him. Twenty years later, all my wishes came true. But the boy came back a man, with a grip strong enough to keep me close and a look in his eyes that warned me to never dare leave him again. I was his to keep, after all. Twenty years after leaving one hell, I entered another. Our tale was only just getting started. It's dark and twisted. But that doesn't make it any less of what it is. A love story. Our love story. Okay, so this next one is part of a series called A Kiss to Tell. And this was written by, it's under W. Winters instead of Willow Winters. Although you can find it under Willow Winters on Goodreads or wherever else. So it is part of a series, A Kiss to Tell, and that's actually the name of the title as well. So the discreet series is to start green. Characters are Sebastian and Chloe, and the title is A Kiss to Tell. Uh, romantic suspense, it does say this can be read as a standalone. When I look at the actual series, uh, the next one is number 1.5. So this is the only primary work, but there's two works. Uh, two works, and the next one is A Kiss to Keep, so 
Yeah, okay, this one says, I didn't need anyone to tell me. I knew he was forbidden with a single glance. He was a boy I should have been afraid of, and definitely a boy I should have never wanted. No matter how much, neither of those statements were true. From the first time I saw him, Sebastian had a hard stare that pinned me in place, and years later it hasn't softened. We lived on the same street and went to the same school, although he was a year ahead. Even so, he was untouchable. He was bad news, and I was the sad girl who didn't belong. One night changed everything. We both had secrets. We both saw the pain in each other's eyes. The gaze that gave me chills turned to a lust-filled haze that heated every inch of me. But that didn't change who he was. A man who would take everything from me. Okay. Okay, now this last one I have to tell you about. The characters are Cillian and Cat. I'm guessing is how that's name is. Now this, the title of this book is Sexy as Sin. Now this is part of a series by various authors. So, when I look at Goodreads, it is part of the Underworld Kings series. There are 25 books in this series, but they're by different authors. For example, book number one is called Razor's Edge by Mila Crawford. Number two is Cold Hearted Bastard by Jenica Snow. Number three is Tears of Salvation by Michelle Hurd, etc., etc. So it looks like um, each book is from a different author. Now I do see that um, like Tears of Salvation, it says it's part of the Saints series by Michelle Hurd, which is number five in that series, but it is number three in the Underworld Kings series. So this one will take a little bit more finagling for the series, but it they're going to be different authors, companion books type of a thing. So I will go ahead and order the Razor's Edge one, but I will show you, obviously, I'm going to insert by W. Winters the book of this one, which again is Sexy as, yep, sexy as Sin. Uh, this is a second chance motorcycle romance, I'm guessing, because it's MC, so motorcycle. I took the fall for a crime I didn't commit, and it cost me everything, including the only woman I ever loved. I'm not the man she fell in love with. Four years behind bars made me harder, colder, with a temper I can't control. But then I look at her and nothing else matters. I'm broken without her and a shell of the person I used to be. She is my one and only, my addiction and my sanity. I could never imagine how time would change everything, how far we'd drift apart. But she can't deny this tension and she can't hide the way her body reacts to mine. She wants mine once and nothing can ever change. She was mine once and nothing can ever change that. I only hope the secrets of the past four years don't tear us apart the moment I make her mine again. So, Motorcycle Club, I'm guessing. Um, MC, I think that's what that stands for. So, I have, again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight books. These are all part of the Discreet series. I am so happy with this box. Um, I especially love this cape book, cape thing. So, yeah, let me know. Have you read anything by Willow Winters, also known as W. Winters? Have you read anything that the author has written? Uh, I've only read the one, which was Dirty Dom, but I do have a couple of others that I am wanting to get to. So, yes, that was my gift to myself for my 40th birthday. Um, out of the extra items that came in this box, like the scraper, this cape, the, the um, book pillow case things, let me know uh, what your thoughts are on that. Uh, what would be your favorite thing aside from the books? And as far as romance goes, what is your favorite trope to read? Talk to me in the comment section below. And until next time, stay true to yourself and enjoy a good book. And I'll talk to you later.